Hey, my YouTube brothers from Another Mothers, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. And for you new subscribers, thanks for joining. So here's what I've been up to. This area here of my layout is going to be more known as like a uh, open area. I'm going to turn it into a trailer park, as you can see. It's going to have a pond or a lake, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to uh, make it a little interesting. You know, throw some clotheslines out there. You know, just a, you know, some bunch of scrap cars, some people fishing, yada, yada, yada. So anyways, here we go. Let me show you these guys. Woodland Scenics, plug and play. He's all lit up, and I'll hit you with a video uh, when I shut the lights off. Woodland Scenics, plug and play. These guys look real good right out of the package. And they do come with tables and chairs and propane tanks and all the accessories I'll be putting outside. This guy here, plug and play once again. And no, I'm not getting paid by them. But this guy actually has a flickering TV inside that window. If you look to the window to the right, it's crazy. This guy here I picked up at a train show the other night, the other day, in Marlboro, Mass. Uh, it's an IMEX, I-M-E-X. And... Uh, He's pretty solid. This thing is like, yeah, if I whipped it at you, hitting you in the head, you wouldn't be happy. And uh, he's got solid perimeters. I thought I could put a light in there, but not happening. So I'll probably put some exterior lights around them or on them. So there you go. So once again, four trailers are in place. Now let's move along. Up top, I did get the log cabin. And he is up there, and I think he's going to look good because I'm going to surround him with some pretty rough terrain also. Look at that nice ethanol train going behind him there. Hopefully it don't derail and blow his house up. Okay. Oh, there goes the light. That's a sequencing hub. We'll get back to that later. Okay, back over here. I had that house up top. I wired it. And if you guys go back and look at one of my older videos or the last video, I had this big plan of wiring my normal buildings to uh, plug and play, and I'm not that bright, so it didn't work. I brought his wires down and carried them over and tried to use that adapter, and, you know, it's all about voltage and resistors. I'm learning. So he's in, and uh, he's lit up, got a nice dog on the front porch. And he's cool right there. Sorry about the wobbyless, wobbyless. And then uh, he's got a dog sitting right there. This guy right below him. I got him all lit up. Once again, those lights would not work outside. So I ordered some new lights. And uh, they were blue. I, I, I don't remember seeing blue, but then I looked and they were blue. So I have a blue building, but it reminds me of my childhood. When the uh, welding shops were around. Also got him landscaped in, putting grass and bushes. Now, if it looks a little like uh, buttocks, it's uh, saturated in glue right now. I did that tonight. Also doing a little landscaping in there. Also doing some landscaping in here. Got a dude hanging out in there. So one other thing I want to show you. Those are those backdrop buildings. They have flats like... Uh, Codstock Flats. I got them on eBay. I think it's called Angie's Trackside Flats. And uh, they're just cardstock, like plastic cardstock buildings with printed photographs on them, about a quarter inch thick. They're incredible. So I got three right there right now. And as you can see, I'm still marrying them in. Like I got to put some bushes on, up on that edge right there. But like I did a little loading dock right there, made a little crooked with a walkway going in. And uh, really brings in the third dimension. And then over here, I got some lichens and a tree and a, a staircase I had from a five-decker. little red block. If you see the shine in there, that's I, I used some flat mat and it's not quite flat yet. Put some tufts in here. I have another one to go behind this building. And then we just work our way over here. So, we're getting there. Couple more backdrop buildings right here. These guys are going to kill it because if you look down this way, that's how my two levels separate from the first deck to the second deck. Don't worry, it's not going to all be buildings. It's, half of it's going to be a retainer wall going down, but 
Look at how nice that looks when I run the track, side and track up a length along that. We'll go to this guy, in front of these guys, and naturally behind the towers, but I'm getting ahead of myself. One more thing, bought some crazy trees at the hobby show in Marlboro. Jury's out on these. You guys let me know what you think. Three dollars for like a plastic package. Uh, there was three of them, so three for three was nine. And uh, they're a little bizarre, but I've been using them here and there to break up the norm. Put them up there also, you know, just to get rid of that them green, like sticking trees looks. And over here on the edge also. They're a little funky. If I don't like them, I'll call in the lumberjack. We'll cut them down and replace them. Little progress in downtown. Now I'm going to shut the lights off to show you those lights. The Rivicanas, they're living on the top floor of them. They're sinister. Highly recommended. Going to take it from down here where I left off last time. Now the blue building is a little bright on the uh, <laughs> on the phone here, but I got to tell you something. I remember buildings being like this where I grew up. They had welding and all kinds of, uh, like they used to make wire in some of the buildings, barbed wire and all that. And might not be that extreme. I'm going to have to dull some of those windows out, maybe put a flicker in there, but it kind of breaks up. Kind of breaks up from the monotony of all the other white ones. I Me, mean, if I go up here, I might, might give it a little more love of what it actually looks like. Because right now, I think the camera is just zooming in on that sucker. House up top. He's lit up. Now to the trailer park. Okay. Kind of hard to see at night. I'm only on a uh, beat-up Samsung phone, but there they are. They've got the three on the bottom that'll lit up. you got the log cabin up top that's lit up. And what I'm going to do is this going to be more of an open area, like I said. The log cabin does turn on and off. I have them on a sequency hub, sequence hub. If you look at uh, Woodland Scenics, you can see that also. And uh, he, his light turns on and off like he's a nosy old man looking down the hill. This red marker light here at the end, I know it's about totally out of place, but it was mine when I was a kid. And I found it in the chest the other day, so I'm trying to bring in a little of my uh, childhood stuff. By the way, I'm 52 now. Alrighty, hope you enjoyed that. So once again, check out those uh, cardstock buildings. I believe it's Angie's Trekside Flats on eBay. But just go backdrop buildings and it will follow you right in there. Uh, Sparky had some also on his channel the other day. But it's really, really, really looking cool. And then as you can see, coming up along, going to mountain area. Those trees may stay, may not, but they look better in real life. Next step, ballast on the second level. i got to get the ballast on up there. And then here's the trailer park one more time. Peace, brothers, and if I don't catch you on one of the uh, live streams, Merry Christmas.